Hello everybody. It's been a while since I did not update my train plugin. You know life has up and downs. Right now I'm working on other projects, but as I find a free time, I will update my train system too. So what is new in this update? So in this train update, we have the brush mask. So to have the latest version of my train plugin, go into the GitHub and download the latest release and unzip that inside your Godot project. So here I create a simple scene and I add my train inside that. I just increase the size of train and I just create a shader material. And for the shader code, I load the start.gd shader. Very good. And remember to activate the mtrain plugin in project setting. Now if I activate paint mode, you can see here I have some brush masks. By default, no brush mask is active at first. And if you active the null brush mask, it means that the brush system works like before. By the way, you can add your own mask and I will talk about this later in this video. But let me activate one of them. And as you can see right now, I use raise brush. So here you can see two things. One is the brush green circle and other one is the brush mask itself. And these two things are independent. For example, if I press plus or minus on my keyboard, I can resize the green circle, but the size of the mask will not change. But now if I press comma or period key, if I press those, the size of the mask will change. Now, if I press my left button on my mouse, this will raise the train according to this mask. In this version of mtrain plugin, if you hold the shift key, it will automatically change to the smooth brush. You cannot see that here, but actually it will change that. Now this will smooth too much. So I go into the smooth brush setting and I reduce the smoothness amount. So the next time I use shift key, it will smooth less. Also holding control will change to height brush, which you can use to flatten your train. Now I want a bigger mountain. So I increase the size of the mask by pressing the period key. So I want to fix my mountain here. I just press the middle mouse button and this will fix the mask image. Now, as you can see, as I move my brush, the position of the mask will not change, but the position of the green circle will change. So here I start to paint my mountain. This way, I also can control the height of each part of my mountain. Now to make the mask follow your mouse position again, just press the middle mouse button again. I just move my mountain here and I can rotate my mountain by pressing L or K. The mask system works with most painting brushes in mtrain plugin. The only thing that does not recognize the mask is the smooth brush. Everything else works somehow with the mask system. For example, let's make a mountain with a too height brush. I just fix my mask here and I change my brush to to height brush. To height brush now has three modes. Relative means that this will bring the height of the train relative to the center of the brush at each moment. A start point means it will bring the height of the train to the height of the where you click at the start of the sculpt in each click and drag. An absolute is the absolute height in the word coordinate system. So I set the mode to absolute and I set the offset to 50. This means that the highest point will be 50 meter. I also increase the weight and hardness to get more accurate result in this case. And now just one click is enough to create your mountain. Remember to reduce the hardness and weight for normal sculpting. Also set the offset to zero after you created your mountain. Okay, now let's try to make this river. Just click on this mask and by default, the brush mask will deform the train in the red part more and in the black part less. So in this case, I want the opposite things. So I invert my mask by clicking on invert. I will change my brush to raise and I just click on reverse so it will act opposite. Now here I create part of my river. Remember to not go too close to the edges to not making a hard edge. Just move the mask and continue creating your river. And finally you can see I created a hard edge. I can fix that by two height brush or a smooth brush. So the mask system is not only for train sculpting, you can use that also for painting on train even in grass system. So here I just create an image for train. If you don't know how the paint system works in mtrain plugin, I suggest to watch my video about paint system. I add some paint brush. Also, I change my shader code. 
Now here I can just paint based on my brush mask. The same principle for brush mask apply here. Now let's see how mask system work on grass system. I just add a simple grass here with a cube and I'm not randomizing my grass now. Restart the train so the grass will be initialized. Now I just fixed my mask here and I just paint some grass on that. As you can see the grass will be created only in the part which are more red. But how does this work? For example, you can see in this part the grass is not added. So our mask for each point has a value between 0 and 1. But our grass does not have a value between 0 and 1 at each point. Our grass exists or not exist in each point. This means we have a true and false value for our grass in each point. For now in each point on our grass which has the mask value less than half it is going to be considered as false and each point on our grass which has the mask value more than half is considered to be true. But you can change this by changing the mask cutoff value. You can see as I reduce the cutoff value more grass will add it in darker area. Another good mask for grass is the noise mask which you can use. Now this cutoff system works in many other brush which can have only one value at each point like bitwise brush, 256 or 16 brush which have only one value at each point not a range of values. So how you can add more mask? One way to do that is to generate your mask in Blender or other train software. For example, here in Blender, I use landscape add-on to generate some landscape and then I export their height as an EXR image. There are some good tutorials on YouTube about how you can export your height map from Blender. After that, I just copy and paste my EXR file into my brush mask folder inside add-on folder. Your mask width and height should be equal and it only should have the red channel. Other channel will be ignored if it does have them. If you add a height map with more quality, you can create things with more quality and try to use the EXR format with 16-bit or 32-bit value for high quality height maps. After copying your EXR images into the brush mask folder, remember to disable their import in go.import tab. And thanks to my supporter on Patreon, you guys give him more hope to continue even by just little help. So if you have any suggestion, let me know. Have a good time. Until the next video, bye.